In this video, we'll use LoggerNet to connect to our data logger, send a program, view real-time data numerically and graphically, collect data, and finally view the collected data. If you are using PC400 or PC200W, we have a different video tutorial using that software. From the main category of LoggerNet toolbar, click Connect. Once your station is set up, this is where you'll spend most of your time looking at measurements and the status of controlled devices. Select which station to connect to. The list can get long once your network of data loggers grows. Connect. Now we'll send the program we wrote in shortcut to the data logger. Click Send New and navigate to your program. Mine is in the CampbellSci SC Win folder. Click Open. You are warned that sending a new program will delete any existing data stored on the data logger. Since this is a new installation, there is no data, so click Yes. The program is sent and compiled. Take a look at the compile results to make sure that there are no errors, messages, or warnings. If there were any, they'd show up in this area. You can also see what operating system, or OS, is running in your data logger. Now let's take a look at some of the details of the running program. The Table Fill Times tab shows all the tables storing data and about how much time you have before the newest data starts to overwrite the oldest data on the data logger. Now let's use the Table Monitor to view some real-time data. Choose the Public Table because that's where our measurement values are updated every program scan, every one second in this exercise. The Numeric Display also lets you view real-time data but here you can view the data from independent tables. You can also display real-time data graphically. The setup is similar to the numeric display. When graphing, I like to add one field at a time as opposed to the entire table because the units and scales can be considerably different. I'll show you one of the graph options. NAN means not a number. It is usually the result of incorrect wiring or a broken wire. Here you can graph NANs as a gap which makes it easier to see. Once the data logger has been running your program for a while, you should collect and look at the data. Connect and collect is a good habit. The data collection results shows how much data you have collected and where it is stored on your computer. We use the defaults in our easy setup. Notice that it says the daily table is inaccessible or does not exist. That is because our data logger has not been running through the midnight hour yet. Tomorrow there will be a record in that table. Select a table and view file. View Pro shows the data file that has been copied from the data logger to your computer. By selecting a column heading and line graph, you can easily graph your data. This button displays the graph cursor. It shows up as a vertical dashed line that you can drag left and right. Data values at the current cursor position are shown in the table, and the associated timestamp can be seen here. Selecting another column quickly adds it to the graph. You can zoom in on an area and zoom back out. It's a good idea to view your data as soon as you collect it. You can also launch ViewPro from the toolbar's data category. Navigate to your stored data. By default, it's in the CampbellSci LoggerNet folder. We've covered a lot in this tutorial. The Connect screen provides many tools you'll use regularly when maintaining your data logger network. Please contact a Campbell Scientific Application Engineer to discuss your application and for answers about getting started with your data logger and software.